zeroing off using a point roundover bit to round over the edges of this tray. Point roundovers are amazing tools, but you can see one of the downfalls of them right here right off the bat. My piece of material is not perfectly flat, and it leaves a little edge there, a little lip. However, with solid wood like this, it's a super easy cleanup, and this bit is doing something that I wouldn't be able to do otherwise. I'll talk about that here in just a second. After the inside edge of the tray is complete, we'll move on to the outside edge of the tray as well and get that rounded over too. You can see on the areas where I have the material actually flat, it's leaving a perfectly clean round over, which is exactly what we want to see. The nice thing about this too is it could get into really tight corners that other bits simply couldn't. When we cut the inside profile with the tray, you can see it cleans up really nicely along the inside edge. Same thing with the outside edge when we cut the profile. We're left with a nice smooth round over there. I wanted to use a larger radius roundover on this tray, and with a normal router bit that uses a bearing, it's simply too tall to be able to actually round that over with the size of the tray. But a point roundover doesn't have any of these problems as there is no bearing. So now we'll just clean up that little edge, just a really quick hit with some sandpaper. This took about 20 seconds of sanding or so, and now we're left with a perfectly clean roundover on the inside and outside of this tray where a normal router bit would not be able to go. Point roundovers are definitely a great option if you haven't used them before and work really well for trays like this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the tools on our website. Have a great day, everyone.